Hi everyone and thank you for clicking to watch this video. If you want to reply, comment or follow me you can on Twitter which is rose underscore butlin or I'm also on Instagram with that name or you can subscribe to this channel. Awesome, um, so I thought I'd do a very quick video on two of my favourite W's in life which are wrestling and women. So um, this is only going to be about WWE divas and only the main roster, so I won't be referencing NXT or any of the women on there, like Charlotte or Bailey. Um, it is rather timely, I think, that I do this video now because um, women's wrestling is having an upsurgence at the moment in WWE. Um, for example, 1.2 million, I believe it was, people watched the Total Divas Season 3 premiere in America, which is amazing. I'm a huge fan myself. Um, also we have the Bella Twins storyline and the AJ Page storyline, which I like because Page is actually from my hometown in England and it's actually pronounced Norwich, not Norwich, but that's just me being very pedantic. I hope to make my points not at the expense of the WWE superstars, but more championing the divas, um, because I'm a girl, you may have noticed, sorry if that is a shock to anyone, but I'm also a huge WWE fan. And when I tell people that, I get two responses. Either people disbelieve me, or they criticise me for it. I can't tell you the amount of times this has happened to me. Um, and people always assume I watch it to watch the half-naked men wrestlers. This does... I'm not going to say this doesn't help sometimes, obviously, but um, I've watched wrestling since I was eight years old. I'm now 20. It was not my priority then. And I'm assuming that's the case for most people who are WWE fans. So to watch the WWE Divas be criticised for their appearance and to have this view be stagnated since the Attitude Era is really frustrating for me. And just to break it down to you, the um, cast has presented us with absolutely stunning women. You have Sable, Stacey Keebler, rather, uh, Tori Wilson. Um, because not much was demanded from them apart from their physical appearance, we accepted their roles more readily um, in such a male-dominated environment. And we commended them based on their profiles alone. Um, but quietly, what it means to be a diva has evolved into being strong, sexy, powerful women. But the attitude just not has evolved with that. Um, in particular, people on the dirt shoots can be hideously sexist sometimes. And female fans are often put in the same category as children. I've heard many times John Cena's fans are women and children. This is not the Titanic. I do not need your help to see the light. If I if I want to cheer for John Cena, I will, but that is not because of my genetics. And on any given day, I can cheer louder than Brock Lesnar than you. It's very important to have a strong female character base. Not only to increase the viewership of females, but also to have something to aspire to. Um, rather than just stereotypes of catty behaviour, jealousy, or reliance on males. I'm sure if there was a male character that had these stereotypes it wouldn't be tolerated for nearly as long as it has been with the divas. So somebody who's obsessed with sports or obsessed with chasing women for example because there's no depth to build upon. Naturally there's the famous line that they can't wrestle comes out a lot especially it's been seen with this Bella twin storyline. Um, but if I name a recent pay-per-view and ask you who Cesaro faced on one of those pay-per-views and Cesaro being an absolute thoroughbred of wrestling premise and he's amazing, I love him. Um, but you wouldn't be able to remember who he faced. Whereas I asked, where if I asked you who Brie Bella faced, most people would say Stephanie McMahon. When you remember, it suggests you've been entertained to some extent, good or bad, you remember. So wrestling today is 70% entertainment, 30% wrestling. WWE is anyway. So my question is, are the divas actually being quite shrewd and tapping into this new this new direction of WWE? Um, are they getting ahead of the game by entertaining and enhancing people's memories of them? They're tapping into um, the new direction of the company. They're expanding into the E network with Total Divas. So has the division moved on without the audience and now it's up to us to change our views so we can appreciate these beautiful women who just kick ass so um let me know what you think 